going on, YouTubers? Kadang775 back with another video. Today, I'm going to go ahead and do a little quick unboxing of this NVIDIA Shield K1 tablet, okay? The reason why I picked up this tablet is, one, I got it at a really good price. I bought it from a friend that was had, had it brand new but never got around to using it. So I picked it up from him for a measly 150 bucks, which is really good considering the price that it's going for right now. It's 199 plus tax and shipping. I got it $150. That was with shipping and out the door. And it also threw me threw me some uh, the case, which is like $40, $50 to buy by itself. And it gave he gave me a little replacement stylus with another $20, $30. Because this, this thing comes with a stylus already. Um, he didn't have the controller, but I already have a controller because I already have the NVIDIA Shield Android TV, which is why I picked this up in the first place. Because I know I was supposed to do a... Sh review of the nvidia shield android tv but i can tell you it's really good i'm just going to combine the review of the shield tv with the shield tablet the k1 tablet so let's do a quick unboxing okay let's see I can use my cat claw fingernails and here is come out tablet NVIDIA Shield Android Tablet K1 Tablet. Okay. It's kind of tough to find these brand new and at a good price because they're coming. I think they're cutting production of these things. Um, they were sold out a few months ago on like Newegg and Amazon. Um, Newegg and. Because I usually buy stuff from Newegg or eBay. There's a bunch on eBay, but they're asking for like $250, $260. Uh, New Eggs 199 with the controller, but they went ahead. They have they're out of stock for a little while, but good thing I talked to my friend, and he sent it to me 150 bucks out the door with some little accessories. So I'm gonna combine a review of the Nvidia Shield Android TV and the Nvidia Shield K1 tablet. I'll have that review up probably in June, and but I am I will be taking vacation in June. But I, if you're not, I'll be releasing videos. I'll be taking my trusty MSI GE62 Apache laptop. I'm gonna yeah, it 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 doubles as a video editor besides playing my Secret World and my my uh, Guild Wars 2 online on that little laptop. It, it's pretty powerful. It's it's a decent laptop. It's got 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's the fifth generation Intel i5700 mobile processor, and it has a GTX 960 um, yeah, mobile um, GPU unit. So it's a decent laptop, and I, I've done videos from there before, and it's got Sony Sony's uh, Vegas little uh, Vegas suite installed on there. While well, I'm using, I started using Coral X8 Video Ultimate for my video production here. So, um, there's a few other things I want to go ahead and talk about. Um, one is that games with gold. This this mom this coming month and for June looks really sick. Um, I saw a preview of the games of gold that it, it's probably just rumors, but I'm hoping they're not because Red Dead Redemption, Bioshock, uh, Bioshock Infinite. And you got Rice Son of Rome. I already got them. And Lichdom. Okay. Lichdom, if you guys don't know what that game is, it's supposedly this um, battle mage thing. And it's supposedly a horrible and terrible game. And looks like Microsoft will be giving us a free game. But it's it's broken. It's a mess. But I think that's why they're giving it as games of gold. But Rice Son of Rome, now, that was a AAA title back when they first released and that's like the prettiest game on Xbox One one of the prettiest games on Xbox One and it it runs at 900p 60 frames a second but I mean the way they rendered Rise Son of Rome is freaking beautiful and if this is that's part of games of gold I urge people to download that <laughs> that game because that game is awesome I still got my original rights from day one and I liked it but it's only good for a few playthroughs I mean you only get you get tired of it after a few a few playthroughs, but for the price of free, I say it's worth it. But the big news is Red Dead Redemption and Bioshock Infinite, and for Microsoft to release those with Games of Gold for Xbox 360, that means any Games of Gold released 
on the Xbox 360 that that's free will be backwards compatible so that's the big thing so if Red Dead Redemption and Bioshock Infinite become backwards compatible in June I won't be surprised because Microsoft is has their E3 event um, in June and they always release big bombshells like this so I'm hoping the story is true um yeah that was it that was the things I want to go ahead and talk about so I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching my video oh I forgot anime spotlight I totally spaced on anime spotlight here we go I want to go ahead and talk about an anime called Ajin okay I had no idea what this anime is I, I haven't read the manga I haven't I haven't this came out of nowhere for me um it's been on Netflix for a while now I'm surprised um it just totally I just totally been passing it over I mean it was there on probably it was there on anime joy and stuff but um, Netflix signed a deal, multinational deal, that they're going to release. Um, after it's simulcast in Japan, they release it on Netflix. So they released the first season, and I binge watched that thing. And it's got some Parasite slash Tokyo Goo elements into it. So you take it a little, you know, it's awesome. It's a awesome little anime. And I, I didn't like the way they ended it for season one. They left you on a cliffhanger because, but that's how they always do it. And the main character is Kena guy. And this guy, and this is the story where there are immortals, people that can't die. Okay, you can kill them, and they don't know they're immortal until they actually die. And this poor kid, he get he dies, he gets he gets killed, and he realizes that he's immortal. The thing is, in this this universe, this reality, they're treating um, immortals as outcasts, and they do horrible, horrible experiments to these guys, and. I don't, I don't, I don't blame them, the, these immortals, for turning on humans, <laughs> because some of the, some of the stuff they do to these immortal guys, because they can't die, is pretty vicious. But I want to go, uh, go ahead and check this anime out. I liked it. It's got, like I said, Parasite Tokyo Ghoul kind of reminisced feeling to it. Um, not as good, but almost there. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching my video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel below for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and leave me a comment below and letting me know why. I do appreciate the criticism. This is Gadang775. Peace out.